So welcome to the Shape It Up Live show. Today is the first Shape It Up Live video. So I am a little nervous, I gotta say, um, but it'll be fine. So anyway, so in today's Shape It Up video, I am gonna be talking about what is the best diet for women over 40. I'm gonna be telling you how to implement it so you can start feeling more comfortable in your own skin. So if you, who out there wants to feel more comfortable in their own skin, can you hit that like button? There's probably a delay. So if you are not familiar with Shape It Up, hi, my name is Nicole Simonin and I own Shape It Up Fitness and I am a personal trainer and I have a background in physical therapy and I also was a former professional ballet dancer many, many moons ago, feels like forever. Um, so I help women who are over 40 not only get fit, but to help them feel more comfortable in their own skin, because it doesn't matter if you're five pounds overweight or a hundred pounds overweight, if you're not comfortable in your own skin, it doesn't matter. So if you want to learn more about Shape It Up Fitness, uh, you can go over and Google shapeitupfitness.com and you can learn more about the web, uh, Shape It Up Fitness. So I'm just going to do another check. Can you guys hear me? I know I see Brianna and Kim saying yes, they can hear me. If you can hear me, click on the like button. And if you're new to Facebook, the like button is underneath on the bottom. It's a thumbs up. So if you hold the thumbs up, you should see a bunch of emojis come up. Like, oh, someone else joined. I'm not going to mention who that is, but hi. <laughs> Um, so if you click that like button, you can see different emojis up there. There's a happy one, there's a sad one, a heart, stuff like that. So just click the like button. I just want to make sure everybody can hear me loud and clear. Okay, so we're going to get started. So thank you so much for being here. I am broadcasting live from New Jersey and it is really cold out there. Um, do we have anybody else that is not from New Jersey? If so, put it in the comment section. Um, if you're going to watch the rebroadcast, you can feel free to comment on the video. I will be checking comments later on the rebroadcast too, and so I'll be answering any questions you have as well. So I like this broadcast to be interactive, and what that means is I am going to obviously give you information, but I am also going to be asking you questions. So it might be to hit the like button or hit the wow face or the heart button or something like that. You can also put comments in the comment section. At the end of the broadcast, I am going to be doing a Q&A if there's time, and you can answer or ask any questions you like, and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, but try and hold your questions until the end so I don't miss them. If you've ever seen a live broadcast, there's actually a feed of comments that go through. So I might miss them as I'm telling you about the topic that we're talking today. So make sure you do all your questions at the end. Okay. All right. So let's get into today's topic. Again, it's the best diet for women over 40. So how many of you have tried a diet in the past year? in at least one diet in the past 10 to 20 years. So click the like button if you tried more than one diet in the past 10 to 20 years. All right, hit the like button if you have tried more than five diets in the past 10 to 20 years. <laughs> Someone's laughing. <laughs> All right, so we know that there are tons of ways to diet. So there are plans where you can count points, you can count calories, you can count macros. If you're not familiar what macros are, they are protein, carbs, and fats. You can have food sent to you. Um, you can also manipulate your macronutrients, again, which are your carbs, fats, and proteins. You can eat six meals a day. You can do intermittent fasting. You can eat like a caveman. You can eat like a rabbit. <laughs> you can do meals based on your blood type, your sodium levels, your sugar levels. There are so many choices out there. It's just astounding. Now, the diet industry is big money, and they have you all fooled in thinking that you need to buy another diet. So here's what most diets have in common. 
Later on, I am going to tell you the one thing that they all have in common, but for now, this is pretty much most of the diet protocols. They usually eliminate one type of food group. They are usually very restrictive. They are usually extremely hard to follow. And a lot of times they have you eating the same types of foods. Like if you remember the cabbage soup diet or the grapefruit diet, um, my favorite one is have a shake shake and a sensible meal at dinner. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so, so I want to know how many of you watching are currently on a, some sort of diet. Hit the like button. Everybody about water. So if anybody is on a structured diet program, I want you to tell me how you're feeling on this diet. You can hit the heart button that you love it. You can hit the sad button, the emoji, if you don't like it. Which one are you? Oh, I got a like button. Also, if you are on a diet, go ahead and put in the comment section what diet you're on. Just curious. You can type in what type of diet it is. Um, there is a delay on my comments. So if I start talking, I know I can't see all your comments. They'll pop up in a second. All right. So um, when you start a diet, usually what happens is week one is like the honeymoon phase, right? It's great. It's wonderful. You started this new diet and you have done everything perfect. You might have even seen the scale move and you're so excited about it. And you might have even managed to get through the weekend. And then you head into week two of your diet. Sometimes you might pass week two and be fine. Um, but then, you know, week three, you get through and in the middle of the week, somebody asks you to go to dinner or you have a business meeting or something comes up and now you're freaking out because your strict protocol for your diet does not uh, fit into how you're going to go eat at a restaurant. So let's take that scenario where you're eating at a restaurant and usually what is the first thing that comes to your table when you're eating at a restaurant? Bread, chips, right? Nine times out of ten, that's usually an off-limits thing on a diet. And you're watching your friends eat it, and you know, you're looking at it like, oh, that looks delicious. How is it? <laughs> you go through dinner and then dessert rolls around, and you just are like, should I have dessert? I feel uncomfortable. Should I not have dessert? And maybe you have dessert. And now you think you've blown your diet completely, and you probably get in your car and you're driving home and what are the thoughts that start coming up in your head? It's probably deprivation or I blew it. I might as well just forget it now. Um, and there's a lot of verbal abuse that will kick in and just sacrifice depriv dep deprivation <laughs> and sadness. Uh, and then you start thinking, well, maybe I picked the wrong diet, right? And so then what do you do? You pick another diet. Uh, and then the whole diet roller coaster starts all over again. So tell me if you're riding the diet roller coaster. Go ahead and hit that wow button. That's the surprise face, the emoji. All right, so here's what all diets have in common. If you look at any diet, they, this is the one thing they all have in common. They all have decreased calories. Doesn't matter what diet you choose, you are decreasing your calories. Um, there are no new diets out there. They're all being reinvented into some different new marketing twist. Um, so like right now, the most popular diet that I keep hearing about, people keep asking me about, is keto. If you're not familiar with keto, it's very high protein, very, very low in carbohydrates. Um, I am going to do a video on low-carb diets in the future, but for right now, we're just going to touch base on it just a little bit. So, so keto is popular right now. And just because it's popular doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And it doesn't mean that you have to choose it. So some other low carb diets that have been in the past um, is Atkins. And Atkins is very, very similar to keto. Um, there's also primal paleo diet. They're both offshoots of keto and a version of a diet called the zone diet. Um, these do, diets do focus on healthy vegetables and fruits, 
some of them helps focus on fruits, um, which is great, but you need some sort of carbs in your diets. And I think a lot of times when people think carbs, they think pastas and um, breads, but you forget that carbs are also your starchy vegetables. So you do need plenty of starchy carbs in your meals. And so when you go on a low carb diet like keto, paleo, or Atkins, you take out the starchy carbs, which generally are your pastas, your breads, and your sugary foods. And of course, you're going to lose weight because you're automatically decreasing your calories by eliminating processed foods and starchy carbs. No one eats a serving size of pasta, right? A serving size of pasta is probably the size of your fist. Normally, we're eating probably five times as much pasta. If you go out to eat, it might be even larger. Serving sizes are just out of control. So by eliminating that, you are eliminating a good portion of your calories that you're intaking. The other thing about carbs is when you cut them out, you're losing water weight which is again why most people see a lot of significant changes in that first week because you cut out the carbs, your water weight drops very fast and that reflects in the scale. You're gonna gain it back. It's not, you're not losing body fat, which is what you wanna lose. You don't wanna lose scale weight. You don't wanna lose water. So what is the best diet for a woman over 40? So ladies, when you're turning 40, you know your hormones are a hot mess. They are all over the place. And you're basically preparing for menopause, right? So um, I am going to go into more detail in a future video about hormones and how they change through that perimenopausal area. And that's like usually 45 to 55. But for now, you need to know that sugar, white flour, floury products, and processed foods are really not your friends. They disrupt the hormonal balance, which is not what we want. So I think the best diet for a woman over 40 is one that you can enjoy and maintain for the rest of your life. So a lot of the diets that are around, you know, you could probably do for maybe 12 weeks, but then, you know, you can't sustain it. Um, you also need to be eating a combination of proteins, fats, and carbs. I think all the macronutrients are very important. <laughs> Sticking to whole foods is ideal. So you want to eat plenty of vegetables plenty of lean meats, and healthy fats. So when I say whole foods, I'm talking ideally about foods that have one ingredient, apples, um, chicken, avocados, etc. Now, unless you are growing your own food and raising your meat that you're going to eat, chances are you're going to be eating some sort of processed foods. There's no way to really get around that. So um, you can eat sweet treats as well. So it's not that you have to go this extreme from eating no sweets and, you know, just pure whole foods. You can add sweet treats in. Um, again, going back to the fact that because we're in our perimenopausal age, you do need to watch the sugar intake. Um, the other thing is, is everything in moderation. You know, you do need different types of nutrients. This is why some people do really well on certain diets and some people could do the exact same diet and it's horrible for them. Then there's also the mental aspect of how you're dealing with the thought of dieting, the diet deprivation, the diet mentality. Um, and that, again, is a whole other video that we will get into. So the bottom line is, is if you want to lose weight, which I hate saying that, because really what you're talking about is you want to lose body fat and you want to lose inches. So, but if you want to lose weight, you need to have a calorie deficit. So you need to be burning more than what you're intaking. So, and that doesn't mean go really low in your calories either, because that's another diet. Diet like 500 calories, that's not sustainable. Um, 500 calories a day. So, um, but keep in mind too, and you know, sometimes the hormones are just kind of so out of whack that you need to wait for them to calm down. So you need to kind of focus on maintaining your weight and kind of waiting till the storm passes um, and doing your best. So we will get into diet mentality again in future videos. Um, so to recap, the best diet for a woman over 40 is something that is low in sugar, low in floured foods, low in processed foods, you want a healthy variety of lean meats, vegetables, complex carbs, and healthy fats. You need to be in a calorie deficit to reduce weight. Again, not a huge deficit. It could be just, you know, anywhere from 200 to 500 calories. You still would see a significant change. 
and you need to be able to eat like this pretty much for the rest of your life um, or until something else changes in your life. But you have to be comfortable you know, with the foods that you're eating. So diets are really temporary fixes. They are not a nutritional program for your life. Um, and you know, yes, you may do, you may survive a fad diet and maybe you will lose the weight, but chances are, you know, when a couple months have passed, you're going to gain that weight back and they're going to bring some friends with them. So I say ditch the diets completely altogether and learn how to be comfortable eating real foods and Again, we're going to get into different um, signals that your body normally has in order to kind of keep yourself, regulate yourself in what you're eating. All right, so the only consistency weight loss program combines balanced diet and exercise. All right, so what questions do you have for me? I'm going to open up. So what you're going to do is you can just click on the comment section, and if anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, and again, I don't know if there's a delay or not on my computer. Oh wait, I'm going to scroll down. Again, this is my first Facebook Live. Oh, hi. Okay, I see a whole bunch of people. Hi, Karen. Hi, Ron. Hi, Patty and Melissa. Did I miss anybody? Hi, Victor. Um, all right, so does anybody have any questions? Kim, did you say no? <laughs> no, you have no questions. Okay, so I don't see any questions popping up, which is totally fine. Um, if you do have questions, like something comes up later on, you can go ahead and put them in the comment section on this post, and I will answer them for you. And okay, so I think that's it. We survived our first live Facebook video, I guess. <laughs> um, you can join me next week on Wednesday at noon, and I'm going to be doing these Facebook Lives um, every week, and there'll be a new topic each week. Again, if you want to check out Shape It Up Fitness, you can go to shapeitupfitness.com. There's also a book on there, um, Tighten and Tone, Your Arms and Tush, if you'd like to download it. And there's also another ebook on there called Fire Up Your Metabolism, which you're welcome to access as well. They're both free. And they're on my website at shapeitupfitness.com. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And my tagline is get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. And I will hopefully see you next week. All right. Take care. And thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.